A Wisconsin owned company is stepping up and helping a dance team that was impacted by Sunday's Christmas parade tragedy. Yeah, Uba Ali shows us how. Seeing Culver's packed is no surprise for Wisconsinites, but many aren't only coming for the food, they're also coming to help those affected by Sunday's tragedy. We wanted to make a day of it for Extreme Dance and for the families that were directly impacted. Kyle Soderstrom is the co-owner of Culver's on Grandview. He says the business has partnered with Extreme Dance Team for over 10 years, and after Sunday's tragedy, he knew it was time to help. We're donating 50% of all the sales for the day to that organization, going directly to those families. Lines at times have been out the door, some waiting more than 20 minutes to get their food, and they say it's all worth it. It's overwhelming. It's just overwhelming. I just, the, the community have been, has been supporting us. Extreme Dance Team coach Sandy Feller says more than 12 of the dance team members and family were injured Sunday and five are still in the intensive care unit. These kids didn't deserve this. And they, the ones that watch their friends get injured, they don't understand why. But a kind act from a local dance teacher put smiles on their faces. Oh, oh she tied They came up with $5,000, and then she went last night to Build a Bear at Mayfair and just sat there and built 50 Build a Bears. Feller says she's overwhelmed by how supportive the community and the world have been. I don't usually come to Waukesha just for lunch. In fact, Holly Brock drove more than 30 minutes from Jefferson. It's heartwarming to know that I can do something. I can't do anything to help the people, but I can do something to help raise funds. A special trip for burgers and cheese curds to support those impacted during Sunday's parade. In Waukesha, Uba Ali, TMJ4 News.